Hello again, GLL back for an exciting full review of Quantum Break. This game has hit the market and it's kind of like Marmite. We've got people saying it's crap, we've got people saying it's good. So, what's my take on it? Well, as far as I'm concerned, this is the second best exclusive game on the Xbox One. The best one being Rise of the Rome. Now, why can I say that? Why can I say that it's the second best exclusive game on the Xbox One? Because the game's just that damn good. Now, people are complaining about this, that, and the other, but really, if you go into it with the mindset that it's going to be some kind of shooter or whatever, then you're, you're looking at it the wrong way. Um, obviously, it is a shooter, technically, but this game is heavily story-driven with a lot of dialogue and a lot of, obviously, uh, real action scenes with done with real actors. So, it's all about the story. And the story delivers. The story is excellent in this game. Um, well worth a purchase. Now, here's how I went about it. I got the game. I started it at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And I played it for 14 hours straight until 6 o'clock in the morning. Straight through. Um, only breaking to like have food and stuff while I was watching the live action stuff so it held my attention for 14 solid hours and I didn't get bored I didn't feel like going to bed I didn't even feel tired I was just engrossed I couldn't put the game down it was amazing it's been a long time since I played a game for that length of time without getting bored. It's just every level, all sorts of different things going on, time travel, mind fuckage, um, things freezing, things stuttering, um, shit happening in the game, chaos everywhere, different enemies. So start you off with one type of enemy and then different ones start to come throughout the game and yeah some of them are pretty generic and whatnot. and that's really where the game lets itself down a little bit just with the combat the combat's just your standard FPS basically take the division um, get rid of the XP system there you go quantum break um, it's just a generic shooter gameplay but it's not bad gameplay it's just nothing special but because the story is so good and because the action and everything going on and the the locations and everything and, and the graphics the graphics look stunning especially like the character models and stuff they look almost as good as the real fucking live action um, very very well done um, music um, everything is just done really well there is a fair amount of replay value in this game because of all the different choices and finding out what happens if you make the other choices in the game that you didn't make the first time around um, different characters and whatnot will die or survive or whatever that's not a spoiler by the way because that's obvious from the first fucking one of these things so um, it's a really good game um, the game didn't crash once in 14 hours um, that's pretty incredible for an Xbox One game um, it almost crashed on the M-Boss but it stuttered a bit and then it c carried on um, and that was like once I like a million goes so yeah um, slight bit of screen tearing every now and again um, but other than that fantastic uh, this game is not a hard game 
Um, it, it, I played it on hard, and it was pretty easy to me. Um, I think that's because your character is just so overpowered. You can freeze people. You can do this. You can do that. You can run fast and do all these things, and it just makes the game really easy. Um, there's some hard bits. There's like the end boss is like sort of difficult. The difficulty sort of spikes a bit, but um, you know, overall the game's pretty easy, even on hard, for me personally. So, yeah. If you're looking for a challenge, this probably isn't the game for you. If you're looking for a real hard game, but I never went into this game thinking, you know, it's going to be a challenging game. I'm thinking it's going to be an experience, and that's what you get with this game. You get an experience. So, let's talk about the combat. Okay. Your combat is sort of a mix between Uncharted and Gears of War. You've got your pistol, which is infinite ammo. There's more than one pistol, but the original one's the best one, so you just end up keeping that. Um, there's a slot for your assault rifles, and then like a special weapon slot where you can have like a sniper rifle, but for some reason there's no long range scope on it, and that's the sniper rifle. And it's kind of like Gears of War because you can keep your weapon level to level. So once you pick that sniper rifle up, you can keep that with you. And as long as you keep finding ammo boxes, you can keep replenishing the ammo. And that's another reason why the game is easier. Because if you're an intelligent player, you're going to keep the best weapons all the way through the game. Um, and I just use the assault rifle and the sniper for the whole game, pretty much. So, um, yeah grenades the enemies can throw grenades but you don't have grenades that's a weird design choice but I think it's to do with the way the time powers work and it would just be awkward control wise and whatever so they decided not to put grenades in for the player um, obviously you can do like Jedi fucking blasts and shit and kill people that way so it doesn't really affect the gameplay that much um, but some people might be deterred by the fact that you can't throw grenades because that's what they want to do so yeah gameplay is a little bit strange I mean there's no hip firing it's just all L trigger stuff um, when the game starts up the game has that stupid really high sensitivity like Call of Duty shit where it like locks on to people you can turn that down to low or off and then the game's a lot more fun to play. So as a seasoned gamer, we know this shit is like creeping in. They're trying to make games dead easy for noobs and whatever. Um, and they just pile all that shit on. Change that shit, turn it down, and play like a fucking pro. So, yeah, this could well be game of the year right here, guys. Um, like I said in my other video... Um, I wasn't expecting anything from this game until my brother started uh, pressuring me into looking at it and uh, it didn't disappoint it was way better than I expected um, like I say excellent story excellent characters and I can't really say anything about that without spoiling the game for you so you just have to fucking play for yourself it's one of those kind of games where if I say anything, I'm just going to ruin the game. Um, so I'm just going to tell you now that it's probably the second best game on the Xbox One. It's a little bit of a sequel slash DLC bait right at the end of the game, which may be annoying to some people, but it's fairly minor, fairly minor. Um, it does have a satisfying ending, and then there's a little bit of a DLC slash sequel bait right at the end there so yeah very very good game um, 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 um, I, you could maybe knock a few points off for controls I'm not going to do that because 
when a game holds your attention for 14 hours solid it's definitely worth every penny so yeah I'm gonna definitely play it again at some point I, I've done all the achievements now um, but I just like went back because you can do your choices again there's different choices in the game sort of like mass effect choices type things where you can like slightly change the story it doesn't really change the story that much but it does make slight changes to the game so I will be doing those again uh, and, and playing the game a different way to what I have done but I just quickly went through them and pressed them uh, just to get the achievements but I haven't played it again yet so I might even do a stream of that, that later down the line but uh, yeah very very decent game um, I, there's not a lot else to say without spoiling it I mean I could tell you why it's such a decent game but then I would completely ruin it for anybody that's going to go and buy it so I would like to talk more about the game guys but the problem is is that it's one of those kind of games you talk about it and you ruin it so you just have to play it for yourselves I cannot stress this enough great game great atmosphere great graphics sound music characters everything is just amazing um, if you're into like sci-fi you know if you've ever seen you know back to the future or the time machine or anything like that, any time travel stuff that's done well not crap time travel good time travel where it keeps you guessing what's happening here um you know like terminator stuff but when it was good not now old terminator that kind of level of quality from the time travel aspect you know um like i say great characters on both sides big big actors on both sides um that have been thrown in there uh, and they all do really well it's all very um what's the word it's all very well done um, the uh, live action stuff is also really good um, like the hacker character I thought he was great uh, he's probably my favourite character from the live action stuff the guy that's like hacking into all the, the gear and stuff um, reminded me a bit of Boris from Goldeneye actually but slightly more serious but he, he was a really good character and uh, yeah just everything was cast really well for those little f things Bear in mind it isn't an actual series, you know, whatever. I thought it was really good, you know, far better than anything we've seen out of like Halo Nightfall or any of that shit that was done for Halo, you know, Forward Unto Dawn. It, it pisses on that, you know what I mean? And I like Forward Unto Dawn, but this is, you know, a proper, it feels like a proper series you would get on Netflix or whatever. So, yeah, really well done segments with the live action that fit in with the game they don't feel out of place um, it does slightly take you out of the experience because obviously you're then watching something else and it's not about your character but it's like behind the scenes with other characters what's going on behind the scenes but if you don't watch them you won't know what the fuck's going on in the game they are integral to the experience and uh, it all ties up nicely and like I say there's a satisfying conclusion and possible sequel DLC down the line which will also likely be fucking epic because they've done such a great job here so I want to quickly talk about collectibles before I end this review there's a lot of collectibles but they are in plain sight a lot of the time very easy to find stuff you can find on the computer screens and whatnot will actually impact on the game it's quite interesting so um, some of the best stuff I can't really tell you what it is but you there's some stuff that is uh, like readable content normally I don't even bother with those but some of the ones in this are really good and um, they're like pages and pages of stuff and um, actually interesting to read gives you a lot of backstory for the characters and whatnot. You know, what certain characters have been doing for a period of time and whatnot, where you didn't know what they were doing so excellent quality even on collectibles and I hate collectibles yeah there's also uh, upgrades for your character so you can like level up his superpowers and whatnot and uh, you have to collect like sort of crack down orbs um, they're a little bit more annoying to fucking find they're sort of like invisible unless you hit Y and use your time vision or whatever to find them so 
they're, they can be a bit annoying but they they tended to be the ones that I missed as I was going through the game so they were a bit annoying but other than that really good job on collectibles and you don't really need the upgrades too bad anyway the games like I say is pretty easy so thanks Remedy excellent work um, this is how games should be you get the full game and then maybe some DLC let it down the line. Not half a game, a load of shit. So, well done. Excellent game. And I think this game may actually give other games this year a run for the money. I think this is easily potential for game of the year. It's that good. Seriously. So, go out and buy it, guys. Feel free to subscribe. See you later. Okay, gotta get to the library.